Location scouting is one of the most important aspects of photography. It's the process of finding the perfect location to take your photos. A good location can make or break a photo, so it's important to take your time and find the right ones. With the modern advancements in technology, I very rarely have to go out and location scout. I can pretty much plan a photo shoot from the comfort of my home. But what happens when the location you're after you can't find on Google Maps? Join me today as I hunt for the famous Hawthorne tree, situated on Dartmoor National Park. Hello and welcome to another video. So join me today at Dartmoor National Park. I've come here to get an image of a lone tree. Now I'm not entirely sure where it is because I've never been here before. I've seen a couple of pictures of it. Um, Satnav tells me it's in this direction so we should be coming up to it anytime now. I've just stopped a couple back there because um, I can't see this tree and they said it's just around the corner and I've gone around the corner. They described this tree as uh, it's like something out of Lord of the Rings. Now I'm just around the corner and this is what I've come across. I'm not sure this is it because that isn't looking like any Lord of the Rings film I've ever seen. It might be the tree that I'm looking for. Might just have a wander across anyway. I've got a couple of hours. All right. Another tree sticking out of a rock. Seems to be a lot of trees sticking out of rocks on Dartmoor. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, I'm finding this tree. Uh, we'll keep on. Time is half past six, so two hours, just over two hours till sunset. Okay, so just behind this big tree here, I don't know if you can see if it makes out, it's a tiny little tree sticking out of that rock all the way back there there's also a couple up there uh, just wherever they are there and there um, which i haven't gone up to those it could be those I'm not 100 percent sure but i'm going to double back so i'm going to go up to that tree if it's not though if it's not those if it's not that tree then that's as far as i'm going to go i'm going to head back and then maybe scout it out on another day So we've arrived at that little tree and I don't think either one of these are the trees that I've seen in the photos. Um, there is another tree down there that would probably make a good composition. But as you can see, we are not getting any light. Okay, I'm just uh, heading back to the car. And uh, I just happened to just look to my right, you can see just here, I think that's the tree I've been looking for. So, I'm gonna head up there and have a look. This was a stroke of luck because I was headed, uh, I mean, I was headed in the opposite direction. It wasn't up until I stopped and thought, What's the sun doing? I turned around and had a look and then I just happened to spot it up on the hillside. The sun's, hmm, I don't know if it's gonna give us a sunset, but yeah, this is good. So I'm gonna head up there. Oh, it was a long way up. And I have finally found the tree. Ooh. There we go, so there we be. So we can set up for a sunset picture, but I don't know if it'll happen. Beautiful old tree. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of tours in this area actually. I'm just looking, there's a car park just there. I could have parked over there, um, which is actually a, I don't know what that is, 
10 minute walk instead of an hour and a half. But there you go, live and learn. I think, I do believe that's the way down to Hemsworthy Mire as well. So yeah, been there before. And I didn't even notice this tree up here. So there we go. Okay, so um, it's not looking like the sunset's going to be the greatest. Um, we've got um, quite a lot of low cloud, so it might catch some light after the sunset. Um, we might get some of that. I'm not sure, but I'm going to set up for my composition and uh, take an image anyway, regardless to whether the sun's um, playing ball or not. Um, and then I'll come back out another time and get an actual decent image. But the clouds look really good um, on the horizon. I think it can still make a nice image, but there's no light here, so it's all just flat light. So it's kind of a bit like, meh, you know, but I'm gonna take the image anyway, because I've made it all the way up here, um, and I'm gonna take the image, and I will pop it up on the screen. Right, so day two of trying to get a sunset picture at this location. So the rain came in um, at the end of that video and I had about an hour's walk back to the car and you can see in this location here, this one. So I walked up, the original route I walked was back around these rocks here and then across here and then all the way back to this car park here. Now, on the, the reason I parked here was because on the sat-nav it said that the uh, tree was up here because I, I used some um, coordinates I got off the internet for it um, and converted it to a Watt Free Word address to get the uh, location and that's where it said it was and it was completely wrong. But now, having location scouted that area, I can now park down here. So there's a car park here which you see in the video um, that I point to but what I'm going to do is, is just here there's a little just one one car parking space there I'm hoping that will be free when I get there tonight so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to park there head up here and then to the location and hopefully get a sunset picture Sunsets in uh, half an hour. Don't think it's going to happen tonight. I don't think we're going to get any uh, any spectacular light coming through. But I am happy now that I know where the uh, location is. I know exactly where I can park, and uh, I can get here in no time at all. So day three of trying to photograph the Hawthorn tree. And actually it's been three weeks since I started this video. I had a bit of an accident on my foot and I've not been able to make a video for the last two weeks. So I haven't been able to finish this video off. So I'm just out finishing this video off tonight. Hopefully getting a good sunset, but there's no real cloud in the sky. So I'm gonna take what I can on this one. This is my third attempt. Um, I'll still come back and get some more images at another time, but this will be my third attempt on this video. And uh, we'll see what photo we can get. Sunset at 9.19 tonight and it's now 8.40. So I've got a little bit of time to set up my shot. Not as much time as 9.20 or 9.19 though, because it is going to go behind this big hill and you've got to remember the the elevation when you're planning your sunset shots that you're not behind a big hill because obviously it will set a lot sooner than it actually sets so tonight it'll probably set about nine o'clock behind that hill but down further it will be uh, 
on the other side of it it'll be 919 by the time it sets truly behind the horizon so i'm going to quickly set up shot right here for this shot um, i'm looking at the sun coming down obviously behind or beside this rock here and hopefully give some nice light on the side of that tree and it was quite interesting that when i came up the first time the tree was completely bare and it's just started to um, blossom now and these are you can see i don't know if that's visible down here you can see they're um they get this nice white uh, blossom on them in the spring um it's a bit early for it to be fully fully out yet but um it's actually looking quite nice with that so i'm quite glad i did have to wait the three weeks so compositionally lead in line through these rocks here um, with the light coming up and then obviously the balance of the tree and the rock uh, in the background with the sun setting and uh, yeah let's have a look how see how that looks on camera <laughs> So that's going to be the sunset picture i'll pop the uh, image up on the screen using a graduated filter uh, two stop graduated nd filter and uh, bracketing the shot one stop over one stop under so hopefully that image was worth the uh, three week wait that it took me and definitely location scouting and being able to find this place a lot easier now um, i'll be coming back here a lot more so do get out there and get your location scouting done because it is a really important part of photography and without it you probably won't find places like this that are, that are a little bit hidden and secluded and out of the way and uh, you don't tend to find stuff like this on google maps so give it a go get out and location scout get yourself a nice image okay all packed up on the way home now just quickly i was filming that segment and I turn around, there's just a massive group of people there, all just sat around, yeah, watching the sunset, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. And then I pack up, start to leave, and I'll have the footage here. This is where I got to above them. And uh, just after I stopped recording this, I couldn't make this up, but they started howling. Uh, as the sunset like a wolf it's not a joke but on the way back to the car I can see this it's a bit blurry but I'm guessing you can tell what that is um, that is a massive full moon and uh, it kind of reminds me of American Wealth in London. You know, the one where they say, it's a bit of an old one, you know, the one where they say, um, stay on the path, don't cross the moors. Oh, oh boy, didn't I just stay on the path? What the hell? Oh, it's just a Dartmoor pony. And uh, well, I've just got a group of people howling and it's a full moon, I'm getting a little bit scared. So I'm gonna get back to the car as quick as I can. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I uh, really do appreciate that. I really do hope that image was worth the three weeks wait. Um, if you like the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Helps with that algorithm and uh, shows me that you liked it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you like this content and you want to see more, please do uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. That's massively appreciated. If you want more Dartmoor photography, I'll put a playlist up just up in the corner. Um, and there's a lot of bovine around. And I'll catch you on the next one if I'm still alive.